On Monday, a 30-year-old man, Jordan Neely, was brutally murdered on a New York City subway train. Jordan was a beloved son, nephew, and performer. He was a member of our community. He was also a black man with a whole life ahead of him, and that life mattered. We are devastated by the news of Jordan Neely's death, and we offer our sincerest condolences to Mr. Neely's friends and family. We have seen reporting stating that Mr. Neely was homeless at the time of his death and had a history of mental illness and criminal legal system involvement. As an organization, CASIS is dedicated to ending unjust cycles of arrest and incarceration. We specialize in services for people living with serious mental illness, people who, like Jordan, are some of the most vulnerable members of our community. We condemn this act of violence as well as the media outlets and elected officials who use fear-mongering rhetoric against members of our community who are homeless or live with serious mental illness. The very real terrible dangers of this type of language and rhetoric by media and politicians were clear on Monday when Jordan was attacked and murdered by another rider on our city's subways while other commuters cheered. It is disgusting and unacceptable. It raises serious questions about what kind of city and community we want New York to be. As this tragedy so clearly illustrates, and as we know all too well at cases, the real truth is that people living with serious mental illness are especially vulnerable to becoming victims of violence. We know that recovery and healing for people with mental illness is possible. We can see it every day at cases. We will never stop fighting to make effective mental health services accessible to all New Yorkers, regardless of their histories, their present symptoms, or criminal legal system involvement. As a city, we must reject the kind of fear and violence that led to Jordan Neely's murder. Instead, we must commit to and invest in a vision for ourselves and our communities that emphasizes support, recovery, and healing. We must have justice for Jordan Neely. Thank you.